Thank you very much. Does anybody have a problem with my cape? I'm told that the media people want to, me to remove my cape. Lakini munajua atupangwingwi. Mbona munataka kutupanga? Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as has been said earlier by Professor Kithure Kindiki, this is a very monumental day. This is a very important occasion. It's a culmination of uh, months of intense consultations between our team and the Democratic Party team, um, leading to our signing today of our coalition agreement between our Kenya Kwanzaa team and the Democratic Party. I am a very proud Kenyan today that we are joined by the Democratic Party, a party that has history in the Republic of Kenya. The Democratic Party was started and led by Kenya's finest economist, the Honorable Mwai Kibaki, who this country remembers with a lot of nostalgia for his contribution in the leadership, the governance, and the advancement of the Republic of Kenya. His contribution from the time the Democratic Party was formed to present. It is with special reference to our second president, our third president, sorry, uh, President Mwai Kibaki, whose forte has always been the economy. And it is instructive that this election is actually going to be a conversation about the economy. And that's why the joining of the Democratic Party to the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, Alliance is significant, that they bring on board the economic conversation that was always led by President Mwai Kibaki. And therefore, we are very proud uh, this morning that uh, we are enlarging this uh, team and making the winning of the next general election a reality and as close as possible to um, being what it should be. Let me say, as a, a person who has also worked with uh, uh, Justin Muturi, that uh, it's a pleasure, my brother Justin Muturi, that you lead a team. And we have a history together. We have worked many years on the same side of the political equation. This would have maybe probably been the only time we would be on different sides of the equation. But again, fate has had it that we will again be on the same side of the political equation. So again, I am very happy that uh, we, are, we are meeting here this morning. We believe as Kenya Kwanzaa joined by the Democratic Party this morning that the most potent conversation in Kenya is a conversation around the economy, the conversation about ordinary people, the conversation about the businesses of ordinary people, the conversation about our agriculture, the conversation around our businesses, our SMEs, the conversation around universal health coverage. And that is what brings the Democratic Party and the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity together. The conversation about the people of Kenya. There is another conversation out there about the, 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 the changing the constitution and, and everything that goes with it and, 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 and sharing power and sharing positions. We dare say the people of Kenya have 
spoken and they have spoken very clearly that this time round, this particular general election is not going to be about leaders and positions and changing the constitution. It is going to be about the team that has the plan and has the template on how to change our economy, create jobs for ordinary people, create opportunities for our SMEs and the people in the business space, creating an environment for our farmers to thrive and creating an environment for every Kenyan to be their best. And we dare say that the people of Kenya has made that conversation very, very clearly. And uh, as we convert here this morning, we are persuaded that we are on the right side of history. And this election is going to be determined by the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya have resisted blackmail. The people of Kenya have stood against threats. They have refused uh, everything that goes with the tyranny of a few people. The people of Kenya have consciously refused that a few people can sit in a corner and decide for 40 or 50 million Kenyans. And that is why the people of Kenya are saying resoundingly that Hatupangwingwi, the people of Kenya have refused blackmail, they have refused intimidation, they have refused um, threats, and they want to determine their own destiny their own destiny. And that's what we are doing this morning. We are building the blocks that will give every Kenyan a chance. And we dare say that wale wanafikiria ya kwamba watatupanga. Ati wanafikiria ya kwamba watatumia vitisho na watatumia eh, eh, deep state ati na ingine inaitua system na ati watapanga wa Kenya tunataka kuambia mutajua hamujui <laughs> eh hamuwezi kutupanga na hamuwezi kutu, hamu kutulazimisha na hamuwezi kutununua and we are this time round going to a shame the deep state and the dark forces. The people of Kenya have spoken resoundingly that they want to be masters of their own future. And so uh, we want to say it loudly and clearly to our competitors that uh, please try and cobble together a plan and an agenda to sell to the people of Kenya Stop wasting your time trying to uh, re-engineer our literature. I, I think it is an exercise in futility to try and tell us which Kiswahili words we should use and which English words we should use. We are decent people. We are intelligent people. We are knowledgeable people. We know what we are saying. And therefore, instead of these people wasting their time fighting with the literature, they should actually look, get an opportunity to fashion or couple together a plan and an agenda to sell to the people of Kenya. <clears throat> the people of Kenya know what to do. They know how to speak. And they will speak at the ballot. So let us not engage uh, institutions of government in a circus that will not help anybody. I want to conclude my remarks by saying 
we are very proud this morning that we are joined by the Democratic Party, a party that has a long history and a party that has history about the economy of our republic and a party that is associated with our third president, the finest economist we ever had in Kenya, the Honorable Mwai Kibaki. So with those remarks, let me request my brother, Justin Bidan,